Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today I present to you Right Races, a play to earn game where you can own NFTs in the form of cars, mechanic shops, gas stations, racetrack land and billboards. Everything that you could possibly need to run and get involved in this Riot Races metaverse. As today's video is sponsored, we are going to be doing a giveaway. So five lots of 60 USDT. If you want to get involved in that competition, all you got to do, go down into the comments section post anything you like with the watch code that will appear at a random point during today's video go to our discord which is in the description and post in the competition wallet section your youtube name and wallet address and you will have a chance to win winners will be selected at the end of the week so let's start by taking a look at some of the nft assets that you can own in the game so first up we have cars and drivers these are the core assets of the game required to be able to play these are the cheapest asset that you can get on the market so here we are at open sea drivers at the floor price is 0.06 five ETH. Uh, this can be bought on Polygon, by the way, so you're not paying extreme gas fees. Or we have the right race of cars that start from 0.11 ETH. So a little over $300 to be able to get a car for this game and a driver to be able to drive it. Now, if those prices seem a little bit too expensive for you, you will be able to rent assets in their new rental marketplace. Because they're creating a metaverse, they go beyond cars and drivers and have gas stations. Now, gas stations are the most expensive item in the game because they're extremely rare. There are only 20 of these in existence. Distance. the floor price of these is 14 ETH and these will generate you the Riot token on a monthly basis. Now if you'd have bought these a year ago for 2.2 ETH you would be pretty excited to then sell them for 18 ETH one of sold at its highest seven months ago. $51,000 that is some huge profit. If you're looking for some real estate in this game, you can go a little bit cheaper with the Riot Races racetrack land. So the floor price for that is 0.179 ETH. So around about $500 to be able to pick one of these up. And you can earn Riot tokens for the tracks being raced on by certain classes. Now players can race on designated racetracks based on the car racing class. Owning the racetrack land pays out Riot tokens monthly based on the class of tracks owned. Another fairly expensive piece of real estate is the 2.9 E floor price Riot Races billboard land. Now this is really, really good because you can actually advertise in game on these billboards. So if you wanted, let, let's say another racing game came along like Nitro, uh, Nitro League, and you said, okay, I'm gonna give you some advertising in Riot Racers who already have an existing you know, player base of car enthusiasts. Having your advert on here will benefit you because you're drawing customers from the same, you know, same mix, same genre. So actually they could pay you $2,000 to display that for a month. So you could see some return. You're going to have to be a little bit proactive with it, I think, if you're going to do that. But I definitely think it is something that has value within the game. And then finally, we have the mechanic shop. So racers will be able to bring their cars to a mechanic shop to buy and install upgrades. Owning a mechanic shop will give owners discounts on car upgrades and even riot tokens monthly for holding. So it seems like the mechanic shops have a lot of utility to them, but you are going to be paying that premium of 1.85 ETH minimum to be able to pick one of these up off the marketplace. So now you know a little bit about the NFTs, let's take a look at the token. So Riot Race token is R-I-O-T, Riot token, and you can pick this up on ETH or you can pick it up on Polygon. Now the token is at 14 and a half cents at the moment, currently has a fully diluted valuation of 36 million. October the 21st was when it was recorded on CoinGecko and it started at 26, 29 cents. So it has come down 50% from that position, went all the way up to almost $1 uh, before coming down, obviously markets conditions of effect every single token out there. The token will have a lot of utility for across the three games, Riot Rampage, Riot Rush and Riot Metaverse. So you've got breeding, rentals, play to earn governance tournaments, land upgrades, all requiring the Riot token. The token distribution is as follows, 45% for play to earn, 25% for reserve, 20% team, 5% operations and 5% player incentives. So as I mentioned, there are three games. Now the right token powers those three games. The first game is a game racing where you are racing your car versus other people. Racing Team's public release was on April the 14th and season two started April the 14th. Now we move forward into Q2 of 2022, 
we're going to see 3d race playback spawning rentals so spawning is going to be the version of breeding tournament races and riot races cup series then we move into the riot rampage now riot rampage is going to be a street fighter type game so they're going to really mix the genres in the, the right metaverse which is good i think you're going to have to cater to lots of different styles of games but this will add more utility to the token. Then in 2023, that's when we'll get Riot Rush. Now, Riot Rush will be a play to earn chase game that will take place in the metaverse. There'll be more details on this as we get closer towards 2023. The best way to keep up to date with any updates in the future is obviously go follow their socials. You've got Twitter, Discord, Telegram, and they have an email if you want to contact them. You can pick the token up by going to the contract address here, copying it. So we go to Polygon or Ethereum. Copying it, going to QuickSwap for the Polygon Network, Uniswap for Ethereum, pasting it into the select token. Then you'll be able to click it, switch it out for the bottom, and we can trade Matic for Riot or any other token that you're holding. So now we've taken a look at the NFTs and the Riot token that you can own. Let's talk about the gameplay itself. So Riot Races is a play to earn car racing game where players own parts of the game and earn Riot tokens as they play. All the NFT assets that we've seen can be found on OpenSea NFT Marketplace. The gameplay itself will work like this. You would select a race based on the class of cars you own. You would then review the race conditions, so weather, track and pit, and choose a car and driver based on these race conditions to race with. You would then pay an entry fee, this is the gas for your car, using the in-game wallet. You would skip this step though for free races. You would then wait for the race to complete. That would start when enough players are, have entered the competition and you would see your results. Viewing the race in 3D will enhance the gameplay, I think, massively. You've got winners of the race receiving a portion then of the prize pool, which is made up from the gas fees of the race. So first place will receive 50% of the prize pool, Second place 30% and third place takes home 20% of the prize pool. Winnings will be played paid out in Riot Tokens. So as you can see, the prizes that they're giving out are not going to be, you know, you're not going to be earning more than you've put in unless you get first place, which is going to mean that the token is going to remain fairly stable. You're not going to see people just selling off more tokens that they've made through continuously playing the game. So I think it's definitely sustainable in that sense. So a lot more stable economy. Then we have Riot Rewards. As we mentioned before, owners of mechanic shops, racetrack lands, and gas stations will earn a portion of the car upgrade fees and the race entry gas fees in Riot tokens. When you come first, second, or third place, you'll win the Riot tokens. These will be automatically deposited into your in-game wallet. These can be withdrawn for various activities like car upgrades, race fees, and asset name changes. Now, owners of the Genesis collection of cars can join the Riot Owners Club. This is a exclusive club where members can earn right tokens at varying levels depending on your ROC level. So here we can see it comes with loads of different benefits like early access drop, uh, early drop access, we've got tire upgrades, we've got swag, we've got nifty slabs drive time, so many benefits that come with this and rewards players for holding tokens, for owning Genesis cars and racing in at least five paid races for the Genesis level going all the way up to the ludicrous level, which is you know holding 100,000 right tokens. And these include things massive like a big NFT giveaway. So a special edition, fully custom legendary class car. So once you have your assets, you can go to the website and then go to race. There you will be able to select a race. So obviously you're taking a look at the conditions. So you can see here for some of them, the gas entry is free. This is the racing score. So this is the play to earn aspect where you don't have to contribute any gas entry fee. So you can see the prize pool for this one is 4.5. You've also got the location, car class, and the how many races there are currently in the race. So we've got three out of three, so this one will commence. If you've got two out of six or two out of three, you can enter and then once it's full, the race will begin. So you can see here that some of them, uh, the gas entry is free. This is the racing school, the play to earn aspect where you can earn Riot, in this case, 4.5 Riot. Uh, they've also got the conditions, the location and the car class needed. We see it's got three out of three on here. Once that race is filled up three out of three or six out of six in some of the cases, the race will begin. You can also use the filter to select ones that, that you're looking for. So rookie class, we can see, and the, here we've got some actual paid ones the, where the gas entry is five and riot here with a 27,000 riot price pool. You can take a look at the pending races that you're in, 
you can see the results of the races, the teams, and also the leaderboard. So here we can see the top drivers, the top cars, and the top users. So here we see Takashi is in first place with 10,487 total races, 3,503 total wins, win percentage of 33%, top three. But there we see driver hat has a win percentage of 67.2. So whilst he's not got as many total races and total wins, he's definitely probably making better returns than first place. Now newly added is the renting feature. So if you click on rent, you can choose the cars and drivers that become available to actually make earnings from. Now there's no cars currently available. I just picked up one off the marketplace and we have drivers. It's very, very easy to use. You can see obviously there is a difference in terms of the percentage that you will get from these winnings. Now, if you go right to the end of this page, you'll see that the, the percentage that you can earn is much higher for these. So 95%. Now to rent, it's very easy. There's no gas transaction, rent successful. I am now renting 7714. That means that in my account, I have a driver as you'll see in my rented but then you will also need a car now there's no results found at the moment because there aren't any cars on there there were two earlier when I looked on this um, so they're obviously in, in hot demand you will need a car and a driver to be able to race but then once you've got one you can actually take part in some of the free races making sure of course that the car class is the right one at the website you will also be able to check out your account this will give you an overview of your cars and wallet and activity you have your profile you can take a look at some of your assets you can do this also in the assets section we have the drivers where you can take a look at the different ones you have there are four types so earth water wind and fire you can take a look in your garage if you own one you have the team and also your wallet and settings this will display your internal in-game wallet as well as your polygon and eth mainnet wallet so once you've rented a car and a driver from the rental marketplace you will be able to start earning riot tokens in the free racing school races all rentals will happen in a safe and trusted manner there's no upfront cost to re-enter the cars and drivers will stay rented to the players until they release them or the asset owners can also take back rented game assets at any time if they think the renter is not utilizing them well to participate in races players can select the car driver and their racing strategy for each race they have made this process easy by allowing users to select default cars and drivers for all races they've also made the strategy portion easier by pre-filling random selections players will have the ability to update the pre-filled selections if they choose so how do you earn well at the end of each racing school race right tokens winnings are automatically credited into your in-game wallet at any time tokens can be withdrawn to a player controlled wallet on the polygon network what else do you need to know factors that impact on how much players earn are the class of a car rented and the stamina of the game assets cars exist in seven different classes ranging from rookie to legendary the higher the class car the more a player can earn legendary cars can earn about twice the amount of rookie cars each car and driver has a specific amount of stamina to use during a 24 hour period stamina is what's required to enter a race so each race uses one stamina from the car and driver stamina constantly regenerates with each car and driver regaining stamina according to the table below until the game asset reaches its maximum stamina so we can see that the genesis collection they regenerate 1.5 stamina out which is more than the apollo and artemis stamina a day the max is also higher for genesis than apollo and artemis so we can see i just picked up this rally car rented eight percent share you can see that the total race is 30 winning percentage is 16.7 percent this one currently has 28 out of 36 and you can see there I can give it back if I want to so now if we go to a drivers we can see the rented driver is also ready with stamina we can now go to a race we're looking for a rally race so we can filter using the filter list and then we can go to a free race so let's go to this we'll try and find one that has two out of three here we go racing school two out of three we'll have to complete a little capture click continue registered for the race choose the driver i'm going to go in with this person choose the car shark choose the strategy right so aggressive overtune standard racing line wide bulk braking fast break I, i'm going to go in with those so you successfully entered the race the race will begin when all race entries are complete sign up for more races and view your pending races so if we go to pending races now we'll see that there's no pending races because one result happened and we won. 
we won 2.4 riot tokens so not bad considering it was free to play because we just rented that car so if we go to our overview now we can see that in our assets uh in our wallet sorry we've got 1.236 riots because remember we only earn a share of that as we were renting it but that equates to 20 cents and it was free to play so definitely a really big draw for this game I think is that you can play it for free right now and start earning some money I also like that whilst we haven't got the 3d video to watch yet we do have a lot of good information based on our results so first place 1 minute 51 seconds way faster than second and third you can see it's updated the statistics of the driver and the rally car straight away to 19.4 percent now for the rally car uh, for shark and uh, we've also got the weather conditions that we were facing track and pit you can save the strategy and when it's ready we will get the ability to watch the race by clicking this button down in the bottom right if you want any tips on the games and to learn about it you can get the go to the learn tab where there's a quick start how to buy a driver how to buy a car in more detail latest news on the game how to join the community and the white paper for you to look at there's where you'll find super detailed info about the game the white paper looks great you know it is full of everything that you need to know on the game it's probably one of the most detailed white papers i've ever seen you've got details obviously on the roadmap the right token the game players we've looked at right owners club but also you've got the play to earn aspect so we can take a look a bit more at the scholar alpha and how that's going to function the asset owner alpha info we've got how to play to earn details on how to earn as an asset owner spawning breeding and stamina and how that's going to work rentals so how you will be able to rent from the riot marketplace you can then take a specific look at the cars so the collection the genesis collection consists of 3333 remember that's needed to be able to become an roc owner but then there's also a second set of cars the apollo collection which consists of 7777 cars we've got different car classes and the xp point range that you'll get for those classes obviously in the legendary you get significantly more the factory class and current class we've got the car upgrades that you can have so the car upgrades that you can make are on the engine the tires and extras like nos system so that's nitro you got a supercharger dual exhaust drivetrain and performance chip the upgrades can affect your car in two different ways so racing strategy and car performance so racing strategy if the race conditions are sunny weather with a dry track you want to choose tires that are level three so extra soft because they're fastest in dry weather if the conditions are wet and rainy though you want to choose tires at level one because they are the least soft and have tread for car performance the sum of all your car upgrades increases the total car rating and gives you the higher likelihood of winning however having the most upgraded car does not mean you win every single race the primary outcome of the race is the result of choosing the best racing strategy now we've also got different car colors that you can add so we can see we can go to the factory and take a look at them which is really good so you can actually affect your and change your nfts that you own personalize them to how you want them to look we've got car rarity resources as well so this just details the different rarities that you can get how we've got five legendaries from the airbender model and all the other rarities for the other types of car. The white paper also offers specific information on the drivers. Here we can see that there are 11,111 Genesis drivers available in the collection. Racers will have different traits in terms of their how their well their facial expressions, hair, hats, how they look, but also in the the type that they are. So earth, wind, fire, and water, they will each be better suited for specific race conditions. Also, each driver will have varying levels of the following traits: speed, braking, handling, endurance, and vision. The value or range of each trait is between 50 to 100. So these will improve your chances chances of winning races and give you an advantage there's more specific information on the nft assets that we talked about so the 20 gas stations that they were that were available how much they initially dropped for 2.2 eth and obviously you saw one sold for over 15 eth so somebody made a huge return if they picked it up on the very first drop and it's a big investment to make but it is that you know holding it for a long term we're a year down the line and somebody's just done massive x's on that we have the mechanic shops as well or how much they were worth and details on the benefits that you get so 15 percent discount on all upgrades for cards earning right tokens customizing the name of your shop 
You've also got the racetrack land and details of how that works. So the different types of lands that you could own and also the billboard land and how that will work. Initial drop for that was 1.1 ETH. There's details on the Council of Races, which is established to give players influence, a say in the game decisions and operations. So it will work very much like a DAO. You'll have votes to be able to influence proposals, major game changes and additions to the game. And then we also have Riot Races inspiration. So just details on what, where the inspiration for this game comes from and a bit about their big vision in the future. One of my favorite things about the project is this. So their YouTube channel, you've got some um, key tips, not to 60, they call these little segments, where you get some tips on Genesis drivers, what are Riot Races Genesis cards. So you can come here for some specific tips on the game. So if you're wanting to learn about the Genesis drivers, how these traits are affected and how they'll play in the game, looking at how to purchase them, overall ratings and strategy, then this is a great place to come. But my favorite thing about their YouTube channel is this. So Victory Lap is an episode that they put out and it talks about the actual winners in the game. So breaking news, who's placed where, what, and I think this just adds so much personality to the community. And it's that recognition, I think, that is really good. You know, you're actually playing because you also maybe want to feature in the next Victory Lap episode they also feedback on any giveaways so i think it looks like here they gave away a real bmw wow so somebody won that second place was a legendary class riot races car so here we can see the guy feeding back on the competition that took place and the final four that were in getting you battling it out for the championship we see shelby versus Ferrari. They also give updates on sales. So I think it's cool because you like you actually could make a purchase and they could actually feature you in the victory lap as well as giving you updates from the team. This kind of communication really should be replicated across all projects, I think, because it just means that you're getting direct feedback from the team, you've got a face and you're being told exactly what's coming up. So you know that, okay, well, I'm holding these assets, there's big plans for the future. So I really like the metaverse that they're building. I like the fact that they're tapping into different genres. Their project itself has already received a lot of attention. It's been featured in some major articles. So we've got Cointelegraph doing a feature on them here talking about the first drop. It's featured in some popular crypto podcasts as well. So I think there's a lot of reasons to be bullish on this project in the long term. I think they have built a stable economy, not one that is just churning out tokens that you can sell. So if you're interested in racing games, this is definitely something to be involved in. Also, it's something to keep track of by, uh, you know, definitely engaging with their social media so you can keep up to date with the street fighting type game that they're coming. That's probably more up my street in terms of game. So I'll be looking forward to the updates on that. Okay, let's get into learning about Riot Races. Okay, well, that's all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Take a look at it. All the links to this will be down in the description below. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon.